guys, we got our boarding pass. So excited. Yay! It's 4 a.m. in the morning. We just got done with immigration. That took us a lot of time. I'm sleepy, but I don't think I'll be able to fall asleep. By the way, yeah, I'm here in Vietnam with my cousin. <laughs> so we are in Hanoi. We landed in Hanoi today. So tomorrow is a long day. So let's head to our hotel room, shall we? guys it's literally 4 30 a.m in the morning about to be five now we just reached our hotel room and man i'm tired i'm so freaking tired so how are you feeling shradna great not so good because it's four o'clock right now oh yeah we gotta sleep we have to wake up at seven eight. to eat our I mean, breakfast seven. so this is the room so this is the main door you enter we have a bed there where we're gonna sleep and i think i like those lights they are pretty and then here we have the place to keep our luggage and clothes and everything and then there is a window and this is the bathroom and i like this mirror also it's cute so let's go to the bathroom <laughs> hi so here we have the shower here is the mirror here is the place to do your business so yeah i'm not sleepy at all i'm really tired guys but i'm not at all sleepy because i don't know because uh, you know i think i was sleepy but now my sleep is completely gone but i'm gonna force myself and sleep gonna take a quick quick um shower because i feel dirty so i'm gonna take a quick shower and i'm gonna go off to bed i'll see you tomorrow so guys it's my first day i mean our first day here in hanoi so we are heading out to grab some lunch we missed our breakfast because we happened to sleep in and we didn't even get a call from the reception so when we woke up it was already 10 past 10 so breakfast ends at 9 30 so we missed it and we are starving so we're gonna go grab some lunch but before that before we head out quick we're gonna give you guys a fit check let's go Also, I'm going to be doing my shades. Also, a lot of you guys ask me where the shades from. It's from H&M, guys. See you later. Bye. Hi, we came to this place called Key Cafe to get some coffee. Guys, I got the veg croissant sandwich. Actually, it wasn't available, but since I'm vegetarian, because it's Saturday, I went for the veg one. She went for the chicken burger and got some coffee. This one has lemon in it, and that is mango coffee. So, yeah. Get some uh, local food, guys. This is the chicken food, and that one is beautiful. Wow. Are you excited? So we just got back from the market it's around 10 p.m right now i'm gonna do a mini haul for you guys so i ended up buying things that i should not have bought but anyways so let's start with my favorite item to be this bag so pretty also she got that dress today really cute so this bag 
finally have one and then i bought these uh, bag uh, charms like um green bag and then there is this bunny one so 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 cute this one's for me and there is this uh pink i don't know what this is it just looks pink and really cute so this one's for pinky actually because it's pink and then there is one more this one it has like a strawberry hat on this one's for tinkle i also bought this really cheap night suit this is the short and then it has a top also which is pretty cute i love the bow and everything and the quality is really really good i also got this this one's for my knees um to be honest i've never really bought her anything till date i think but then this reminded me of her when i saw it so i bought it for her oh my god guys this is my favorite item actually not the bag i bought these beautiful heels oh my god it's so pretty it's crazy these are like so pretty do you see like the right um heel right height i kind of manifested this because i actually had a lot of these kind of heels pinned on my pinterest board just crazy so i also got these hats this one's for my baby juno this one's for raven this one's for ten this one's for uh baka that shada's cat and this one's for lily so this is a balloon skirt i wanted a balloon skirt so bad and this also has a like little bow detail going on oh my god which is super cute and i'm so excited to wear this I, i'm gonna wear it tomorrow probably so cute the famous flower clips so i got like a lot one two three four five six for six different people so i'm just gonna like distribute it when i like like give it to my cousins my friends and everyone <clears throat> do you see how big the bag is guess what it is filled with it is filled with chocolate that my cousin made me buy she was buying so much chocolate that i was like okay even i should be buying chocolate so we ended up buying chocolate a lot of chocolate let's do a haul so the shopkeeper told us that this is the famous chocolate here in vietnam and you know what's the best part each and every shop we went to each and every sweet we looked at and every chocolate we looked at they were so kind to offer us one or two and just taste it before we buy it and then there's this wafers and there is this one i myself tried this one and it is so delicious it's the jelly one and i love jelly so this is really good and this one this is a korean one almond one it has like almond inside of it which is so good yeah one we have is this one this is full i think um coffee flavored like some kind of toffee flavor which is really really good i myself tried it and it is so good uh fridge magnets and a few postcards and yeah some stickers for my friends and other people i hope we don't miss our breakfast tomorrow like we did today so we're gonna sleep early now we're gonna wash up clean their room and then go to bed so i will see you guys tomorrow Got a coffee, some bacon toast, and I think fried rice, passion fruit juice, and some fruit. She got the same except with the boiled eggs. official start of a tour and our first stop was the Vietnamese Museum of Ethnology. We had a guide named Tom with us and he was super friendly, making everything so much easier to understand. The museum had a lot of fascinating exhibits about Vietnamese culture, their way of life and the history of civilization in the area. It was a great way to kick off the tour. Mm -hmm.
So am I. Museum is not my it's thing, guys. Museum is not our thing. It's giving Jackie Falls, if you know, you know. <laughs> it totally is. We are done with the tour. Also, guys, I've been drinking this since I got here. It's called C2. Tratao. Tratao. It's apple iced tea. So freaking good. Cheers. See ya later. Our next stop was this art exhibition where we got introduced to Vietnamese cultural art, which is super popular there. It's so unique compared to other art forms. And then there's this cool technique where they use eggshells on top of the painting. It's called eggshell art. They also do this with oyster shell. The best part, we got to meet the artists and we were lucky enough to buy some of their handmade pieces. Guys, this feels like torture, but the place is really, really pretty. We are here at I don't know what is this place called? Chu Tich Ho Chi Minh. That's where we are at. I think the person, person Ho Chi Minh's body has is here. Probably, I, I'm not sure. I think so. Please excuse me for not knowing things. It's just so hot and. Half of the things our guide is saying I can't really understand through the accent, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting fried. Guys, do you see the sweat? We ended up buying fans because it's fucking hot. But yeah, we're gonna look at a few souvenir shops now and just like see what we can get, what we can. Shada, are you gonna plan to buy something? Some beads, maybe. Sure, a fan. Such cute bags, I really want to get one, but I think it's really expensive guys. I don't even know if I'm going to carry them. She is recklessly buying, I don't know what. It's, oh. it's like, you know, it's a, what, is, what do we call yeah, it? Yeah, but then she, you're, she's getting it from like a very, very touristy place guys. And it's like, I think it's, it's double the price as compared to the market area, but yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's move, let's go, it's time to leave. We're here for lunch, chicken soup, and those are chicken spring rolls, pepper. I don't know what that is. I think the most exciting part of the trip so far has been the food. Every day we had no idea what we'd be eating, which made it even more fun. Trying out different Vietnamese cuisines was a cool experience. It was so authentic. I was really surprised by how different everything tasted there. Nothing like I've ever tasted before. This was our lunch today and I absolutely enjoyed it. After that hearty meal, we headed to this famous pagoda in Hanoi. It was absolutely stunning. It was just so beautiful and serene. I honestly felt so calm and relaxed while I was there. Guys, we just witnessed the train and yeah, the moment we sat there, they were like, what do you want? So we had to order 80,000 coffee guys. But I must say the coffee here is really good. Even if you go to the Chinese store, the coffee is really, really good. Guys, we're here to eat dinner. egg noodles as you guys can see there's like a lot of egg going on i didn't know that they were gonna add so much egg but i hope it's good guys we're well going back to our hotel keeping myself dehydrated i mean hydrated has been so important because i've realized if i'm not hydrated i cannot even walk because it's super hot here
like guys, but I sadly do not know how to write it. So I cannot write it. Yeah, okay. So sad guys, we cannot ride bikes. So sad for us. So everybody's gonna take a bike and go to the temple. While me and my cousin, we're gonna be taking the bus. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No. I've entered the temple. The temple guys. We will wear shorts. So now we gotta cover it because we're here at the temple. So let's go. This one, right? Oh my, I want the brown one actually. No, I'll just wear this. We're gonna go for a Also, the weather is so bad today because it's raining, but I'm still having a good time. I made it to the boat. So it's raining. I was hoping it would be sunny, but it's not. We are here at this temple which is right between the waters like this is only land in between the water which is so crazy because it's so pretty I'm here to get my foot massage and she's here to get a detanning facial because of sunburn. And we also got some welcome water and some sweets. Excited! <laughs> reached Hong Bay and we are headed to our cruise right now. This is what the there's so many boats and ships and cruise. So I don't know which one's ours. Following our guide for the day. His name is Tain. So yeah. A lot of bikinis here. It took us a three hour ride from Hanoi to reach Halong Bay. When we arrived at the port, there was a cruise waiting for us. We were welcomed with some drinks and entertained by people singing karaoke. There was also a buffet where we could pick anything we wanted for lunch and I was especially excited to try the seafood. It took about half an hour to reach the main part of the bay. I wished it had been sunny, but even though it was raining, the scenery was so stunning. The small islands were extremely beautiful. There were a number of islands scattered all around. Eventually, we reached a cave which was completely natural. Exploring the inside was incredible. It felt like stepping into an alien movie with how big and fascinating it was. After the cave tour, we did some touristy things like buying a hat and then got back on the cruise. We made a new friend named Eric who's one singing in the karaoke. The whole day was spent exploring and that's how we wrapped up our day. Good morning guys, it is our last morning here in Hanoi and today we're flying to Ho Chi Minh City so we're having a breakfast right now. It's 8 a.m. right now, our driver is going to pick us up at like 9.30 I guess. Our flight is at 12.30, we gotta go early. So yeah, breakfast is served. I'm eating noodles, this noodles is like the local one, I really like it. Pancakes, toast and a lot of fruits and coffee of course. And she is eating some toast, bacon with sausages, boiled eggs, and fruits, and coffee. No meat today. I think I've been eating too much meat. But anyways, I will see you guys in Ho Chi Minh City now. around I think what 9.45 that was the time that was given so yeah all our bags are packed yeah so big check on our way to the airport and yeah it was such a good stay here in Hanoi guys I would rate it 10 out of 10 how was your experience great right right night right night Yeah. <laughs> it's here. Mm.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's so fucking sunny. We've landed in Hachi. What do you mean? We reached Ho Chi Minh City and we are on our way to the hotel now. We are staying at Atmos. Atmos Hotel. How are you feeling? Great. Great tonight. Great tonight. <laughs> this is the city. We are on our way. Guys, we've reached. Okay, we've reached the destination. This is the hotel we are staying at. Home for the next four days. Guys, she's so tense that she has not even opened her bag. <laughs> but we're here at this uh, seafood restaurant. We just got in without knowing that it's a seafood restaurant. Look at the menu. Like, crazy. Okay? They love the dishes. I ordered myself this thing right here. I actually wanted this. This is much cheaper. But they only have this available right now. So this is what I got. And she got herself seafood noodles. Like it? Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try too. Also, I'm really excited for my order. <laughs> Guys, my order is here. I am so excited and scared. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like because I've never ever tried it before in my entire existence. I have no idea how to eat this, but I'm gonna try. They gave us like lemon with some salt, so I'm assuming maybe I have to put the salt maybe and then some lemon into it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing whatever. Smell. It's very, very chewy. The flavor is like okay, but very, very strong fish smell. Like this one is so strong. Guys, I did finish it. Good morning, guys. It's our first official day, so we're gonna go tour today. So we have a city tour in the itinerary. So we'll be visiting some kind of tunnel I think and this is the fit I'm wearing I just want it to be really comfortable because while inside the tunnel I don't want to be like you know uncomfortable <laughs> So on our first day in Ho Chi Minh City, we started at the Independence Palace. I was really excited because this is where the president used to live. Seeing the old computers and tables made me feel like I was actually standing in the middle of the street. Then we went to the War Museum. So I've been really interested in the Vietnamese War, especially after reading a book a few years ago. Being there and getting to see all the photos there was truly overwhelming. The images of people from the war were heartbreaking and I didn't want to take a lot of videos. I walked out feeling pretty heavy but at the same time I was glad that I got to visit the place and I really appreciate every bit of the experience. Okay, we're 
riding. This is my, this is our ride, guys. I think I want to sit in the front. But another day, another boat ride. Today she is doing it for us. In on all for me. Oh my god, I cannot stand it, it's so scary. It's moving, right? I thought this was a The big one on the small one. fighting. Titan. Okay. Wow. No, no. But you, no, you are not afraid. Huh? No. Are you afraid? <laughs> Something like this. No. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it, it it's could, okay. it could hurt I you. hope they don't kill them. It could oh. hurt you. No, no, no. Because they will. Okay, when they go. We had to try some tropical fruit that's very famous here. No, 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 no. I see. Remember? Yeah, for the pop. Yeah, for the pop. Okay, you can see with the purple color like this. Yeah. Can I see your mechanic? Okay. Just a liberal. Can you deliver it? Yeah, it's like flower powder. Okay, so in case you don't wait, forget the beef. I like it's like honey tea, ginger honey tea, but without ginger. Okay, the second master show. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I cannot tell you guys how good this is. I got it from that shop right there. And it's Japanese soft cream and the uh, flavor I got is matcha and oh my god, this is the best matcha ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. Guys, it's our last day here in Ho Chi Minh and we are eating Indian for dinner. We got some butter naan and some biryani. The chicken butter, chicken curry. Curry. Butter chicken masala. Okay. Pink one. Green one. Oh. The photo, this is my first time ever, and I'm first time right now. Mm. This is our last day here in Vietnam, and this is our last breakfast here. So it's currently 8.30 a.m. Our driver is picking us up at 10, I mean 11.30 a.m. And yes, this is what I'm eating. That's what she's eating. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. Training. Um, we're returning today. Our flight is at 2 a.m. in the morning. So we have a lot of time. So we decided to go. Bonk. Yeah, we are gonna go bonk. We're on our way and I'm really excited. Very, very. By getting this bag. So cute. We were supposed to go bowl, but we ended up coming here and shopping. There was sale going on. We shopped a lot. Can't wait to show you guys what I got. Got some bakery stuff from Bread Talk. It's one of the famous bakery here, I think. And I got this tiny little cake because I couldn't get her a cake on her birthday. So here it is. So cute. 
and we got I don't know she got this cream bread and I got myself a custard looking so cute I'm so excited so like your cake I love it <laughs> I want to fucking cute. I can't. Our last day, we did some shopping as you guys saw, and then we went to a Japanese restaurant for some ramen. Honestly, ramen just hits different in Vietnam, guys. After that, we walked around the beautiful streets, soaking in the final moments of the trip. I want to give a huge shout out to the tours and travel company that made everything so easy for us. We eventually made it to the airport, and while I was sad that the trip was over, I was also glad to be heading home after 10 days. If anyone's looking to plan a trip in the future, I'll link the details in the description, so please don't forget to check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!